Hi guys! I hope you're all doing great today. In this video, I am sharing with you a Soji screen that I picked up off the curb in horrible condition and I transformed it to give my son some privacy in his at-home classroom. Here you can see the frame of the Soji screen that I cleaned up by removing all the tattered rice paper that was on it. So to do a full transformation of the Soji screen I had to cover both sides and I decided I would go with Luan plywood on the one side and paint it out with chalkboard paint so my son could get it to use and so I enlisted him to do the painting. I then attached the plywood panels to the frame by using hot glue and finishing nails. And this photo is basically showing the opposite side of the screen after the plywood was attached. I then cut four fabric panels with overage on all sides so I could flat stitch the sides to finish the panels off. Now it was time to attach the fabric panels to the screens. I used my trusty glue gun hot glue gun to glue the panels to the frame. Now the screen was finished, I used three hinges to install it to the wall so it was more functional and could be adjusted at will. Plus I decided to turn the fabric side out into the rest of the space and the chalkboard side towards the classroom. This is the final product guys. This picture is showing the screen in place from a passageway and looking ahead at the screen from the passage you can see a combination of colors and patterns but they work and they work because they are not starkly different but they relate to each other through their colors and patterns Plus, there is some solid colors that actually help to settle and ground the patterns within the story. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos. Please leave a comment below, like and share because all that help my channel to grow. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.